Okay, so um, I wanted to talk a bit now about the go-to move. And um, this is an idea that my teacher, Kenneth Folk, really came up with um, during our Pragmatic Dharma retreats. And in a very similar way with Pragmatic Dharma, we really expect people on those retreats to, to figure out how to practice well and to figure out what works for them. That's the pragmatic piece, what works. Uh, so too, with this life retreat, you know, we are very much relying on you to figure out how you need to practice. And one of the challenges we found in um, really taking full responsibility and ownership of our own practice is that um, it can be disorienting, ungrounding, and confusing if we don't know what to do because there are so many choices. And as we all know, living in a, time, a period of time in which there are so many choices, that um, there's a, there is a, um, a, 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 a kind of paradoxical um, paralysis that happens in the face of so much freedom. And it can make it very hard to choose. And we get kind of locked into uh, analysis paralysis. Like, I don't know which, what I should be doing. I don't know what's going to be best. I don't know what will actually help me make progress. Um, and we get kind of locked into this sort of doubt and confusion about what to do and then end up sometimes not doing anything um, except for kind of spinning and, uh, our wheels. And so to overcome that challenge, we sort of look at this um, very important con concept and, and notion and practice of, of having a go-to move. And the go-to move is what you do when you don't know what to do. If you don't know what to do, you do your go-to move. Um, and so already here in the check-ins, you all have shared what your current go-to move is. And I, what I would invite you to do is, as you hear me kind of talking about this, just sort of reflect in terms of what is most important to you right now um, and what do you want your go-to move to be on this retreat? What is it that you, after at the end of this evening, as you go to bed, you can say, okay, for the next six days, when I'm not sure what to do, this is what I'm going to go to. This is what I'm going to um, keep in mind is, is most important. And as you already mentioned, you know, for some of you, what's most important to go to move is just to do nothing. This is a type of awareness practice where you do nothing. We let go. It's another go to move that someone mentioned. Or just rest in awareness, remembering to be aware. Some of us may um, work with our go-to move, working with the body, noticing body sensations or dropping down and resting in the body in a kind of embodied mode. Others of us might work with the breath, have a concentration object that we really can return to, say the breath or some loving kindness phrases, may I be happy, may we be happy. Um, something that we can kind of return back to, loving awareness someone mentioned having a pause, you know, just a moment of pausing, a moment of mindfulness as we recenter, as we remember that we're here for a purpose in our practice. And then, um, you know, for me, my favorite go-to move is often just to notice what's happening right now. Okay, I'm not sure what to do. I'm confused. Oh, there's confusion. There is thinking. There is planning. There is fear. Ah, okay. I see what's happening. <laughs> I see what's going on. And just in the seeing of what's happening, that's all I need to do. I don't need to solve any problem. I don't need to fix anything. I can just notice the thoughts and the feelings coming up and just note them. Just notice them. This is what they're like. There's fear. There's confusion. There's planning. There's anticipating. There's uncertainty. There's a lot of uncertainty, isn't there? So a lot of the times that's what we're working with, really underlying this question of what do I do? What should I do? It's uncertain. So let's have something we can go to to help us work with that uncertainty that gives us some fundamental way of working with uncertainty. Um, instead of getting bowled over by it or overwhelmed by the uncertainty, we can do nothing with it. 
we can let go into it. We can rest in the body sensations associated with it. We can notice there is uncertainty. All of these different go-to moves, in a way, you could say, pull from these six ways to meditate that we're going to be exploring over the course of this retreat. You know, um, some of these different go-to moves that you described are awareness practices where you're just being. Some of them are more mindfulness practice. Some of them are more concentration practices, more heart-centered, heartfulness practice. Um, You know, you could have a go-to move where every time you don't know what to do, you sort of check back in and say, well, who's doing this? You know, what is this? That would be like a type of inquiry go-to. So all of these different ways that we, that we have for helping us cultivate embodied presence and to really show up and be present, all of these are different skillful tools, skillful means, techniques, ways, approaches, and they all are useful. And sometimes some of them are more useful than others for us. And so the real deep question, I think, as we dial into what our go-to move is, is what is most important right now? What do we really need? What, uh, what is the thing that we really need to be returning back to right now for this week? And, and that's where I'd like to kind of invite all of us to set our um, kind of focus toward that question, which is a type of inquiry. You know, what is most needed right now? What do I need the most? And then, you know, you, you probably already said it in your check-in, you know, when you shared your go-to move. That's probably it. Um, there might be some subtle refinement or maybe there's a clear, something clear that you could work with that, that feels a little bit more true and honest. So finding your go-to move. What are you going to do when you don't know what to do? And then you, and then you have to worry, don't, you don't have to worry about anything. You can practice other techniques, you can do other things, and you just have something to go back, to fall back on, um, your go-to move. 